I'm gonna tell you about a dream I had uh, when I was editor of The Weekend Guardian. In my dream, I was also editor of The Weekend Guardian. And I was staying late at the office because we had done an interview with Brian Ferry. And Brian Ferry had insisted that as one of the conditions of this interview, he had to approve all the words and all the pictures. Now, at that time, PRs were constantly asking us for this and we were constantly saying, no, 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 go away, no, 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 no. And at that time, Alan Rushbridger was still features editor and he had this little office, this little sort of made up office, made up of the stuff you make rooms out of in offices. Anyway, there, there was nobody in the office. I was staying late for Brian. Brian Ferry comes in, looks at the beautiful cover we've done of him, looks at the lovely spread, reads the lovely interview and says, no, no way. I'm not approving this. So in, in my dream, uh, now that this did not happen in real life, I cannot stress this enough, but in, in my dream, I kick Brian Ferry to death. <laughs> <laughs> I kick Brian Ferry to death. Brian Ferry is lying <laughs> bleeding on the floor by the side of my desk in the Guardian's office and then I pick up the phone and I call the printers and I say, go, run the presses. <laughs> and then I put down the phone and I think, phew, job well done. I'm so glad I got around that problem. And, and then I think, <coughs> what have I done to Brian Ferry? <laughs> What am I going to do with Brian Ferry's corpse? And then I think Alan. <coughs> Alan. Alan's got that huge pile of old guardians in his little <laughs> office. I, I'll, I'll just put Brian's corpse in Alan's office, cover it in the old guardians, and everybody will think Alan did it. And I go home and I go to sleep, and in my dream, I wake up in the morning, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, everybody knew that I was staying behind for Brian. Nobody is going to believe that Alan did it. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? And then, thankfully, I woke up <laughs> from the dream I had already woken up in, and I realised that, clearly, I was incredibly anxious about the whole incursion of PRs into interviews, and that it was really, really doing my head in. I mean, I didn't mean to kill Brian Ferry, but basically I chose my journalistic ethics above Brian's life. <laughs>